एवरी वन वेलकम बैक क्राउन गी केयर नाउ आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट मेनी ऑफ यू आर यूजिंग द एनवीडिया ग्राफिक कार्ड द डेडिकेटेड ग्राफिक कार्ड ऑन देर पी सी और लैपटॉप दे माइट नॉट बी एबल टू यूज द डेडिकेटेड ग्राफिक कार्ड ड्यू टू विच दे आर नॉट एबल टू प्रॉपरली इंजॉय देर गेमिंग और एनी हैवी एप्लीकेशन लाइक वीडियो एडिटर तो टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू दैट हाउ यू कैन मेक योर एनवीडिया द डिफॉल्ट ग्राफिक कार्ड ऑन यूर विंडोज टेन और विंडोज इलेवन द फर्स्ट यू विल हैव टू क्लिक ऑन विंडोज सर्च एंड सर्च फॉर एनवीडिया From the suggestion, you will have to click on NVIDIA Control Panel. Then, from the left hand side, you will have to click on Manage 3D Settings. Then, on the right hand side, it says Preferred Graphic Processor. You will have to click on the drop down, and it will list you High Performance NVIDIA Processor. Select it. Now, in case if you get any error message here, Access Denied, then what you will have to do? Bring up the File Explorer. Go to this PC from the left hand side. then bring up your main drive c drive now you will have to click on view from the right in top hover up to show and check this option of hidden item now you will have to look for the program data folder once you get it open it then you have to look for the nvidia corporation folder open it and here only you will have to look for a folder by the name drs and once you get it you will have to delete this folder so right click on it and choose delete but keep in mind deleting this folder will also reset your entire nvidia saved settings so you will have to make the changes again but if you want to fix this problem then you will have to delete it and once it deleted again you will have to create the same folder so right click on the blank space or up to new choose folder and give the same name drs So once you have deleted the folder and recreated the next time when you will come to the same page and you will try to change the preferred graphic processor you will not be having any kind of problem All right once you have done this you will have to click on apply All right now next below the manage 3D settings you will have to click on a uh, configure surround this one and here on the right hand side you will find this PHYS X setting you will have to click on the drop down again and choose Nvidia GeForce RTX 3050 4050 whichever you are using select it again click on apply once done now you can close it okay and now our last step is optional where we can add manually any kind of application or game to the dedicated graphic card so that it can run with the full performance so for that what you will have to do click on windows search type graphic from the suggestion you will have to choose graphic settings bring it up and here below you will find the custom setting for application where you can add the desktop application by clicking on it and then moving to that particular path of that application or game or even you can click on add microsoft store application and choose any store application now for example let's say if you want to run any kind of game or any kind of application with a dedicated graphic card then what you will have to do look for that application or game on your desktop right click on it choose open file location you will come to the path of that particular app or game again you can make a right click on that icon and if you see any option again open file location then you will have to click on it but if not as i also can't see here then i will copy this path here from the top right click on it and copy it then i will come to the same graphic page click on add desktop application i will add the path on the top here paste it hit the enter key then i will select my application icon wonder share film more launcher and click on add once added if you go in the gpu preferences it says let's windows decide now what i can do i can click on the drop down and choose to high performance nvidia geforce rtx 3050 6 gb laptop which is my dedicated graphic card and this can be different on your end All right so this is exactly you will have to make your Nvidia the default graphic card on your Windows 10 and Windows 11 and hopefully this video will be surely helping you if you have please hit the like subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye